Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. Today is kind of part two to a video I uploaded yesterday where we were taking a look at the recently updated DJI Fly app. They've recently updated it to version 2.1 and they've added some new features and enhancements. In yesterday's video we took a look at the function button over here and some of the new customization options for it. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new attitude indicator and compass. They've made some significant changes to how it was before so let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So the DJI Fly app was updated a little over a week ago, just around Christmas time, to version 1.2.2. They've made some interesting changes. Uh, the main one that we're going to be talking about today is a new attitude indicator and the compass. If we take a look at an old screen recording here, you can see the old compass was located at the bottom of the screen in the middle. Basically, it helps you orientate yourself to the drone if you've lost it up in the sky. You know which way the drone is pointed and how to get it back to you. So they have updated it and it's now located in a different spot in the app. And that was probably one of the first questions I got after the app was updated is where to find the new compass. So we're going to take a look at that here. I'm going to fire up the drone. I've got the DJI Mini 2 here. Now this new update is applicable to the DJI Mini 2, the original Mavic Mini and the Mavic Air. So if you fly any of those drones then this update affects you. Now if we take a look at the DJI Fly app here, down here in the bottom in the middle is where the indicator used to be that's where the compass used to be located to access the compass now we do have to open up the map view initially you can see we just bring it up to the small form and down in the bottom right hand corner you can see that little triangle that's the representation of your drone so if we click on it you can see it switches to the new attitude indicator for the most part it works the same however it does give you a lot more information now we can't see all the icons right now because everything's layered on top of one another but here in a minute I'm gonna take it out in the field and I'll show you exactly how it works but what you can see there right now is a blue triangle and that's basically a representation of your drone. Now the new attitude indicator does have some extra information that the previous version didn't have and that it can show us the angle of the drone up in the air. For example when I turn the drone from side to side you can see that line changes as well and that shows the orientation of the drone in relation to the horizon. If I tilt the drone forward you can see it moves to the top if I tilt it back, you can see it goes to the bottom. That information can come in really handy. For example, if you've got the drone up in the air and you can't really see it, but if you take a look at that line and it's sitting in that position while you're hovering, you know there's a significant amount of wind up there. The drone is at a pretty aggressive angle just to maintain its hover. Now let's take a look at how the compass works and how you can figure out your orientation. If we take a look at this clip here, I was out flying it the other day. You can see here on the attitude indicator, we have three pieces of information that are important. We have the blue triangle in the middle, which is the drone, as I mentioned. We have a yellow circle which has an H in it. That's our home point. That's where the drone has set the home point. Now just under that, which is really hard to see, is another blue dot and that represents the controller where you're controlling the drone. Now in this clip my home point is right where I'm standing and that's why the blue dot is under the H. If I was to walk 20 feet away, you would see that blue dot move. The home point would stay the same, but where the controller is located is different. So now this tool comes in handy if you happen to lose your orientation up in the sky. If you send the drone off and you know a rough general location where it is but you're not quite sure how to get the drone back, of course you can always hit the return to home. But for some reason, if that's not an option, or perhaps you are still wanting to fly, you just want to maybe kind of bring it back into your general location, you can take a look at that attitude indicator and decide how to best get it back to you. It's actually pretty easy to do using this tool. For example, like we mentioned, there's the drone in the middle and it's a pointed triangle. As we use the control stick to spin the drone, you can see that our home point and the blue dot, which is where we're located, kind of comes into view. Once it's lined up with the point of the drone, you can just push your right stick forward and the drone's going to come back to that location. As the drone does come closer back to you, you can see that the home point and the drone icon get closer. By the time the drone gets back to you where all the dots are lined up, you should be able to see it and hear it up in the sky. So for the most part, it does work quite well. I've had um, some comments on both sides of the fence where some people like the new setup and there's others that don't like it. They preferred how it was before. Personally, myself, I don't use the compass a lot. I usually have a good uh, feel of where the drone is up in the sky. There have been times in the past where I have relied on it to figure out where I am. Now one other thing you can do here if you find it's a little too big and distracting and you want to minimize it, you can press that arrow in the bottom left corner 
And as you can see, it gets smaller, but it still functions as it was when it was larger. Well, folks, that's my video overview of the new attitude indicator on the DJI Fly app, the recent updated 1.2.2 version. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.